Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago. And of course, as you guys know, I am Richard Santiago. So, um, hey princess, thank you for coming on. Uh, Thank you for allowing me to come on your feed yesterday and uh, talk with your friends about bullying. I really did appreciate that. Thank you for everyone that's joining. Let me let you know that Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago, is brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to helping survivors of bullying. So volunteer, donate, and learn. Also brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher. For all your teacher resources, check out TravelingTechTeacher.com. Hello, Danielle. Also, Brought to you by the film Dear Bully, which will premiere on Vimeo on June 7th. So don't miss out on that. Get your Vimeo account now so you can smash the heart and so you can leave a good comment on the film. Uh, Today, we're going to talk about the four types of bad teachers. And I hope you guys don't have one of these if you're still in school or maybe you had one when you were in school. Thank you for smashing that heart. Princess Danielle, please go ahead and do the same and smash that heart. First teacher is the boring teacher. Uh, this teach, This is the teacher who talks for a while and then hands out assignments and that's it. Nothing else. No interaction, no group projects, no group discussions, no inspiration. That's for sure. Noble solution. Thank you for joining the show. The second type of bad teacher is uh, no control teacher, as in no control of the classroom. This uh, teacher has a classroom that feels like a party with no adult supervision, even though there's a teacher right in the room. Crazy, huh? So if you're a teacher, don't be the no-control teacher. And number three is the mean teacher. Now, this teacher should have never been a teacher in the first place. But the mean teacher is the teacher who believes that children are all out to take advantage in any way they can. And all the time. It's, It's terrible. Why would you even become a teacher? You know, it's like when people become dog trainers and they really hate dogs you know it's like why would you become a dog trainer think for a minute and then number four is the lightweight teacher Uh, this teacher doesn't teach materials in depth your child may complain about being bored or that school is too easy And uh, so if you're a teacher please try not to fit into one of those categories and Try to keep your kids' mind occupied. So, um, anything you guys want to talk about today, uh, Princess? Is there anything you guys want to uh, you want to talk about in particular? Just smash that question mark and get the story going. I want to say Happy Memorial Day to uh, everyone out there. Uh, I know Memorial Day is for you tomorrow princess but today it is for us here where i'm at so happy memorial day to you guys out there you want to please remember to remember those who have um sacrificed their life so that we could have the freedoms that we have many 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 people have sacrificed their lives uh for the freedoms that we have so don't forget that i guess it's just you and me you and me our princess everyone is still probably asleep uh, because it is a sunday where you're at so probably people are just still sleeping i know i went to sleep at uh, one o'clock in the morning last night working on a little bit of the film again that will be out let me uh, tell you guys this then um we used to if you remember we used to uh, do our show on the weekends simultaneously from the U- YouTube uh, platform and the Instagram platform. And of course, you- YouTube has changed their, uh, they've changed their rules. And now you have to have a thousand follow- followers on YouTube in order to do a live show from your phone. I'm not going to do a live show from a computer and then from a phone. That That's very difficult for me. 
Uh, so, I mean, I'm just one man, you know, one person. So, um, we're asking people to go and um, go to YouTube, search for the nonfiction filmmaker, which is the bullyexposed.com YouTube account, and subscribe there so that we can uh, get to a thousand, so we can start to do our show on the weekend again from from both platforms. So we appreciate that. Why would teachers bully kids? I would think that teacher, very good question, by the way, uh, Prince says, uh, for me, I would think, Starbright, thank you for joining the show. I would think that teachers would bully kids because um, they don't know how to reach the kids the proper way. And that's that's tough part. You know, that's the tough part of teaching of how to, uh, you got all these different, what we call them, we, the, all these different types of uh, emotions, all these different types of uh, characters, uh, character traits, and um, it's hard to balance them all. But good, a good teacher... It will know how to take someone that's being disruptive in the class and turn them into a good student. And, and that's very difficult. A bad one would unfortunately bully bully the kid. But um, I think that um, most of the bullying, I would say, that parents, I mean, that teachers are doing because they, they think that the person is weak, not that the person is being disruptive. I mean, if someone's being disruptive in your class, you gotta, you gotta nip that. You don't want to bully the person to do it. You want to nip that right away. And I, you know, I don't know why a teacher would start bullying a kid, but uh, that's why I think that's why I think it is. Is it's just they don't have the knowledge that it takes to um, bring that kid or uh, to to teach that kid right without bullying them. Or you know, it could also be they're frustrated uh, from working uh, so much. They could be bullied on by their principal, so maybe that's also a little bit of it. So rather than do the right thing, they end up bullying kids as well. So that's that's a shame, but that happens. Yeah, I thank you guys as well for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Uh, so that's going to do it for us today on this show, on this beautiful Memorial Day, uh, Sunday afternoon for you guys enjoy your memorial day tomorrow i definitely will see you guys please remember that live a live feed with your host richard santiago is brought to you by the bully exposed.com a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to helping survivors of bullying and by traveling tech teacher for all your teacher resources check out traveling tech teacher.com also brought to you by the film dear bully uh, we that will be that will premiere on Vimeo on June seventh. So be sure to check that out. Also brought to you by the book The Art of War. This would be a good book for you to get for your father or for your grandfather on Father's Day or uh, just the special person in your life. Anyone who likes 007 and espionage type stuff, this is a book to get. New York top seller, donated to us by Saint Martin Press. We appreciate that very much. So DM me how to get this book. And uh, remember that um, anyone can wear the crown. Anyone can be a hero. So be kind to one another and have a great day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Bye now.